Hey, what's going on, everybody? Jimmy Tiftel here, and we're back with another Avatar The Last Airbender reaction. Netflix just put out another new video today, and we weren't going to waste any time watching, reacting to it, posting it out there, our feelings. This is much longer video than the other two trailers we reacted to. This is called Avatar The Last End Airbender, bringing the world to life. So we're going to watch it, we're going to react to it, and then we're going to talk about it at the end. So let's get this started. I don't know where this will all lead, but the one thing I do know is I'm the Avatar. The story of Avatar is an epic fantasy set in a world inspired by Asian folklore and legend. And the people of this world can manipulate the four classic elements in a process called bending. There are four nations, the Air Nomads, the Fire oh, cool. Nation, the Earth Kingdom, and the Water Tribe. The four nations used to live in harmony, but everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Have I not led us to the brink of bringing the entire world under one rule? Our rule. Innocent people are gonna die. That's what it means to fight a war. And the only person that could stop them is the Avatar. Where that is was the Jen. Avatar? The Avatar, if you've seen him around, he's the little bald kid with the arrow. It's me. The one person who can master all four elements. And it's his responsibility to stop the Fire Nation from conquering the world. Because of everything that the world has gone through, Aang is just a beacon of hope. If the world is going to have any chance, it's going to need Aang. Right. There goes the savior of the world. The cast looks like you pulled him straight out of the original. My name is Gordon Cormier, and I'm going to be playing Aang. He's a fun-loving 12-year-old who has a responsibility that he doesn't really want. How am I supposed to figure out how to save the world? But imagine what will happen if you don't even try. My name is Gaudio, and I play Katara. She's a beginner waterbender, and she will fight to the ends of the earth for the people that she cares about. We do have a duty, and it's to protect Aang. My name is Ian Owsley, and I will be playing Grand Grand. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm playing Sokka. <laughs> He's given this responsibility by his father to protect his village, and he learns that you don't have to be a warrior to be a hero. I am Prince Zuko. I'll burn this place to the ground. My name is Dallas Lu, and I am playing Zuko. He is on the search for the Avatar. You're an enemy of the Fire Nation. He is just trying to fight for his father's attention and his approval. But his uncle, he's the only person that stuck by his side. My name is Paul Sung Hyung Lee, and I play Uncle Iroh on the show. He is a very complex character. He treats Zuko like his son. Have you got a plan yet? The plan is to go in and capture the Avatar once and for all. So no plan. I'm working on it, Uncle. <laughs> Having a predominantly Asian group of people both in front of and behind the camera is significant. For the longest time as an actor of color, you don't get opportunities to play in these kinds of franchises. You have no idea how important that is and how many more voices people will find because of this. Here we go. Ready? Rolling. And action. I hope that fans say this is the live action adaptation that we've always wanted. Shooting this show has been the most memorable experience of my life. It's not the power inside. What matters is the heart. It's coming out of a place of love for who these people are that we're playing. It just felt surreal getting to work with people who are so passionate about this project and really doing it justice. We didn't make something that sort of alluded to it, but only took the title. We made Avatar The Last Airbender. The world is on fire. People are dying. There's a whole new generation of fans waiting to be introduced to this incredible world. I'm going to save the world with my friends. Time to fight. Ooh -ee. Oh, don't click on that. OK. Uh, I, I'm a bit more excited than I was after reading, hearing stuff, some headlines we talked about on the last video I reacted to the most recent actual trailer 
you know, stuff comes out, like as far as like Sokka with his, you know, not being sexist, you know, and like talked about like that's, you know, kind of his like arc, right? His character development, you know, he was this very like boys do this, you know, girls do that. And that's just the way it is. And, you know, through the Kiyoshi Warriors and all that stuff, he just he gets humbled. Right. But other stuff I read, you know, they're trying to go in the direction where, you know, this feels a bit more like Game of Thrones. Aang was going to be more serious. And all that stuff. And obviously, if you grew up with the cartoons, that is the complete opposite of Aang. You know, his development is growing into you know, the avatar, but initially he's just a kid and wants to have fun. Right. You know, he never had the opportunity to be a kid. But watching this, watching, you know, seeing the behind the scenes. Well, first off, let me say, I forget his last name, Gordon, the character playing Aang. Perfect. I think perfect casting from what we saw. So seen so far, I love the fact that, you know, they mentioned, you know, Asian casting. We can hopefully finally forget that disaster of a movie that we won't talk about anymore on this channel we'll see but it it looks great someone that i realized i didn't notice in the last trailer was jet they had a cool little fight scene with jet in the last trailer and I didn't notice it when I first reacted to it. And then I went back and rewatched. I was like, oh, I can't believe I missed him. So super, super excited to see the freedom fighters in there. We saw him actually talking during this part when he was talking to Katara and about, you know, this is war. You know, this is just what happens. But looking, going back to what I was talking about before it, I mean, it seems we see Aang goofing off a lot, laughing, you know, with Katara, we saw the splash in the water. Obviously we saw him on the little air ball crashing the statue again. I'm, I'm a, I'm leaning back to being really excited about this. Still curious to see on Sokka, what they decide to do with them, how his character will develop. If they aren't going to do some of that stuff, um, obviously, there's some slight concerns of what people are talking about. You know, I'm sure if you Googled or you've probably seen the, the headlines, if you've been keeping up and watching the development of this sh upcoming show. I'm going to reserve any more concerns that I have about it. I'm just going to go in with a fresh mind. I'm not going to get like super overhyped for it, but I'm also not going to go in thinking this is going to be, you know, another just flop when they you know re shoot or you know bring you know a cartoon to live action netflix obviously did do one piece justice i haven't seen one piece i haven't seen the live action yet i do plan to it just you know with all the other stuff i've been watching it's hard you know starting a new show like one piece would be really really difficult but Going back to Avatar, I'm I mean, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to reaction reacting to this with y'all and you know being right there along with y'all watching this series. But let me know what you guys think. You know, are you are you all hyped up? Are you being deterred because of the stuff on the highlights? Are you taking my approach where, you know, you're just going in with an open mind and, you know, not paying attention to the headlines, not getting over hype, just going to you know go in and hopefully enjoy it. And yeah, I, I, I'm excited. We got what? Uh, what? One, two, ten, like 12 more days ish. I can't math right now. 14 days. It's February 22nd, I think it's, it comes out. I, I'm i looking forward to it. Uh, uh, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate I appreciate all the support. I appreciate all the comments you guys leave on the channel. I read all of them. I try to re reply to everything. And yeah, again, just thank you guys again so much for being here. 
if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you want to keep up with our journey here or we'll go back and watch any of the past reactions we're currently watching a few anime shows that i have never seen before because i didn't grow up watching anime um, and if you just want to uh, follow for the avatar content we plan to you know keep up and react to and post every single episode that they put out you know yeah, just hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. It helps to put, push out this video to more viewers. And if you guys don't know already, we have a Patreon. Uh, we have been reacting to uh, Naruto, Demon Slayer, One Punch Man. Season one is on there. And we're also reacting to Death Note. Death Note is a brand new series that we just put out on there. But Avatar Reaction will be on Patreon in a quicker posting, you know, just because it's easier to do it that way. But uh, yeah, it, of course, it's free to support me here. Again, just hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment. Let me know what you all think. And we'll see you for the next upload. Peace out.